Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is bananas. So I know what you're thinking, bananas aren't that weird are they? But finding them in a can is a bit strange. There's quite a lot going on in this can so let's have a look at what we've got here. This is Twin Elephants and Earth brand banana in syrup. So whole bananas in syrup. This costs £1.60. I got it from Thai Spice in Fairham. And it is an import from Thailand, I believe. Yep, product of Thailand. So, ingredients are bananas, water, sugar. So, on weird stuff in a can, sometimes the contents of the can are weird in their own right. Sometimes the can's a bit strange. Sometimes it's just the concept of finding this thing in a can, which is strange. And I think that's what we've got today. And I have no idea really why you would need canned bananas. I mean, bananas are just available nearly everywhere, aren't they? Maybe not. So it's a pull tab can. And if you're not new to this channel, you'll know that I have a bit of an ongoing thing with pull tab cans. So I won't be opening this with the pull tab, even though there are copious instructions on here on how to do it. It says lift tab to rim. Place thumb in centre of lid and pull off carefully. Uh, and that's it. Oh, same instructions twice. Right, there we go. Ha ha. Right. Do you see that? Do you see that there? If preferred, use a can opener. That's what it says there. Well, vindicated at last. Let's open it up and have a look and see what we got. So it's quite a thick syrup by the look of it. And there are our bananas. Let's get one out so we can have a look. And they're tiny little stumpy things. Look at that. So contents of the can, kind of murky syrup. Don't really smell of bananas. And here is the fruit and it is a whole small like finger banana okay interestingly well preserved I wonder if these were packed a little bit on the green side because they seem to have survived the canning process quite well I would have expected bananas normally to go a bit mushy if they were canned so there we go there's a slice of banana from a can it doesn't look like your conventional bananas. Anyway, let's have a taste. Interesting. That's quite a lot more fruity and acidic than I would normally expect a banana to be. It's got an almost apple-like acidity to it. And I have seen in the shops those smallish, short, dumpy bananas called apple bananas. So maybe that's what we got here. Hmm. Well, there we go. So, however, we're not just going to leave it there. We're going to turn this into a two can special. And now we've got custard in a can because bananas and custard is a kind of childhood memory of a school dinner dessert for me, actually. So bananas and custard. Now, again, custard, not that unusual a thing, but a bit odd to find it in a can. Normally, if you've got ready made custard, it would come in a carton or a tub or something like that. But here we have it in a can. Ambrosia, which is probably the UK's leading brand of ready-made custard. And so what we've got here, I don't know how common custard is around the world, but in case you don't know what it is, it's essentially milk thickened with egg or cornstarch and flavoured with vanilla. So ingredients, skim milk, buttermilk, sugar, modified starch, palm oil, natural flavouring, colours. That's it. Yeah, which is... Uh, curcumin and annatto, so turmeric extract and annatto. Total milk content 75%. Well, I think I know what to expect here. So, yeah. I think this is actually not a million miles from what in America might be called vanilla pudding. It is just milk thickened with cornstarch, flavoured with vanilla and the yellow colouring. Mm. Lovely and creamy, nice natural vanilla flavour. 
So let's assemble bananas and custard. That will do for now. We'll just have a good old blob of that custard on there like that. So as I say, yes, back in primary school, bananas and custard was a favourite dessert that we were served. It wasn't like this though, it was just a big, huge vat of quite pale and quite thin custard with slices of banana floating on top. Well, let's give it a taste, see what that's like as a combination. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, no big surprises there. That's actually really nice. Okay, slight afterthought. Somebody's going to pick me up if I don't taste this syrup, aren't they? So let's give that a try now. Hmm. Interestingly, again, fruity and slightly acidic. Very curious. But yeah, just sugar syrup and tastes a bit like the fruit that's in it. So no massive surprises there. These bananas, though, are different to the bananas that I'm accustomed to. They've definitely got a more um, acidic, fruity flavour, and it's quite an interesting change. So there we go. That's Weird Stuff in a Can, Bananas and Custard on Atomic Shrimp. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.